Welcome to another video blog. Uh, I've decided to change the name of them yet again because I didn't like walk through either. Certainly not like wing class, so I thought, well, we'll just change it back to what it used to be. And if you wonder what that noise is, it's this factory here, which is CV Aerospace. Um, I'm trying out a new walk, to be honest, because we got moved. Um, the move itself went okay. Um, apart from the fact one of the People in the removal firm was a bit light fingered, and there's a load of DVDs what missing. There were rather important ones, um, you know, the stuff films I got in the last few, few years and stuff. Hundreds of DVDs, so I'm a bit pissed off at that. Like, and of course the guy who did the main moonlight before anybody could catch him. Um, we've had a load of stuff happen since the move, which you always get. Um, most of it I thought I had nailed down, to be honest, but um, we had a sudden, rather major leak in my new workroom. In the office, it's still there. I'm going to try and get some workmen in because all you have to do is basically retile the roof, uh, replace the double glazing, and probably replace part of one wall because uh, the water's pouring in. We've had a lot of rain here in England at the moment. I mean, a lot of rain. Today's the first decent day we've had in a while. Um, so I've been running around like a headless chicken all day every day trying to sort all the house stuff. Or, you know, when you move, it's always the same. You know, it's absolutely clean in the bloody arse. Now, our house that we've got is actually it's a bit of a um, it's like a black hole, right, for signals. So a mobile phone signal goes on a one bar, right? We've got like a, we haven't managed to get the satellite put on yet because I haven't got to the phone them and get through because I keep speaking to people who don't speak English, right? I want to speak to somebody who understands my language. Um, so we've got one of them like sort of you know little digi boxes. Now they great apart from the fact we can't get any of the ITV channels, you know. So it's like my theory is because like we're living. There's an old uh, mining sort of village. And there's a lot of mine workings underneath it. Now I've heard this before where sometimes you'll have an old mine work and it's filled full of water and they'll have left a couple of like mining, big iron mining trucks down there. And they act like sort of magnets for all the signals. So your TV signal goes down and you know your mobile and stuff like that. And it's basically a pain in the arse. But if you move sort of like the next house along or the one that way, you're yeah, fine, but we'll live with it. Finally got the broadband up and running. I say finally because what a pain in the backside that was. But at least we weren't offline three months this time. I'd have to uh, shout somewhat at Pipex though. Um, in fact, I'd scream down the phone at them to get the fucking connection on uh, as fast as possible because they were only about another 31 days. So I threatened to leave and it was on inside of an hour. So there you go. If an ISP plays games, shout down the phone at them. Uh, but make sure it's logical. And there you go. Uh, now, this is a, an offshoot from the walk that I'm actually doing. Um, I'll do the next bit, the second part of this, so you can see some of the views which are lovely. Um, but it's a bit windy, so you want to do the first one up this little back um, sort of track here. I don't actually know where it leads, it just goes down like that. See, look, country track, on the, you know, nobody comes down here. Behind me is number one industrial estate. Um, Phileas Fogg Foods around there, there's loads of big stuff, you know, it's a massive industrial estate. Uh, not exactly the best place to go and walk through, you know, you just it's boring, right? But at least I've got to walk through that to get the good places. So I'm going to be on. Okay, I've been on 3 minutes 30 seconds and I'm obviously talking way too fast. So let's calm it down a bit. Take the stress levels down. It's my stress levels are... I haven't been out for a walk for, what, 3 weeks? You know, and that's sort of my sanity walk, these. You know, it keeps me... It gets me away from everybody else on the planet. I can forget about everybody and everything. And just basically let all the stress just, you know, flow out. Uh, and as you can see, I need it, right? I really do need to get the stress down. Um, Work-wise, well, I know I mentioned that, I mentioned I'm working on a Doctor Who project. Um, that's all I can basically say. Apart from the fact that I'm doing more models than God at the moment. Um, I've done full character, two heads, um, I've got another three bodies complete with stuff, I can't tell you what else to do, and something else. Um, this week alone, wait, right, the last four days, how many models have I done? One, two, three, four, for that. I've also done two busts for warm-up, that's six, uh, and I did another 20 minute doodle, which is seven. So I've done seven models in four days, so you could see I'm being rather productive at the moment. Look at this, right, watch, it's me doing illegal stuff. Buy me a bin, I'll put it in the bin, right? <laughs> so, um, I've actually 
I'm glad the move's so sorted. We've still got one wall of the kitchen to decorate because I need another head for the roller. Right? And the nearest DIY store is about two and a half miles that way. Now, I don't, I don't drive, right? I haven't had a neat double now. Um, public transport is shit. I don't know when it runs, so it's a walk. Now, the idea of walking five miles with stuff like that is just not appealing. So I'm trying to wait until... Well, I'll be honest, I'm waiting until my dad finds a reason to go down that end and get it for us, right? Because I'm a lazy bastard at the moment. Got a lot of stuff on. Um, got some progress on the uh, Zebra's book. It's on being laid out at the moment. Um, as it turns out, there was that many images in it, it would have run to a massive page count. So they've had to reduce the size of the images. Now, I can't see. I'm more bloody happy about that. Um, but, you know, they, do, they will be supplying... Uh, all the original high-res stills that are used in the book. Uh, also, uh, there's a lot of videos, I think it's about three, four hours of video uh, on the DVD with it, all the work files. There's about 56 matte caps that I've made over the past 12 months uh, that are in there. Hundreds of alphas that I've made. Um, what else have we got? Um, there's my custom sort of UI that I use in ZBrush at the moment. Which is, I know some of you know, is sort of like a fluid thing. I change it quite regularly uh, to get the most, you know, optimised front end, um, which I'm I'm pretty chuffed with. It works well. Uh, those of you that saw the the curved DVDs, still haven't been paid for those, by the way. Um, you know that I used to use a hot box at Pop. I don't use that anymore at the moment because I don't need to with this layout. Everything is just laid along the bottom and it, it works perfectly. Um, so that I can say that book is going to be great. Right? Now, see, after you've been working on a book for a while, you start getting the point, you start doubting your own sort of ability. You think, well, is this book, you know, is the, that model any good? And I've been away from looking at any images now for about a month and a bit. So before, well, after, after the move there, before I started getting on, like, I had to look through the image, you know, the main image again for the cover. And I'm actually surprised, you know, that's damn good. That's good work. So, I was getting a bit edgy, you know what I mean? Because I've been living with this rover a year now. I want it out. Now it should see the later day, hopefully the next month, or thereabouts, whatever. Because what, what actually happened was, um, I finished the book, and word we had another, like, another three books in production at the same time. And they hadn't actually expected me to finish on time, because most of them don't, right? Um, so when I did, it was came as a bit of a surprise, I think, so there you go. See how long I've got now? Another three minutes before I've got to do the changeover. So I'll have a little walk back down towards the road. Um, so yeah, I've been, I mean, not the models that they nobody's business. But I've put like, was what, there's two busts online. Um, I put in Zebra Central and 3D Forum and stuff like that. Um, you know, just sort of hour and a half ones. I think one's hour three quarters, just under three hours, under two hours. And there's a 20 minute fiddle around. That's sculpted from a single polygon. Now why did I do that? To be honest, I wanted to see, you know, if I could sculpt from the lowest base mesh you could ever have. The only thing you could get that was lower would be a single try. Now, ZBrush works with tries, but, you know, the, the way it's subdivided, I don't like it, right? So I tried a single quad, and I subdivided it quite a few times. I think it's the first time I've been up to Summer Daffling, Subdivision Level 13. Um, and then somebody asked me last night, well, have, have you tried to extract the normal map from it, see if it'll work? So I did, and it does. So... In theory, you can map as many polygons as you like onto a single polygon, as long as you have enough UV area for that polygon. You know, great. I've also um, I'm, I've changed the way that I sculpt again. My style started going in a different direction again. Um, using a whole new set of brushes um, and stuff like that. So you start seeing some changes in the work I do. Now, I've obviously got to prioritise the paid work at the moment. So I've put the last article in for 3D Total, by the way. Um, that's handed in. I've got the video to send over to the guys. It's about an hour, an hour and a half or something like that, depending if I speed it up or not. And there we go. See how long we've got. Yeah, it's about time to cut off. Now make sure you look at part two, because I know a lot of people don't actually go to part two of these. Now, to be honest, I get rid of all this stuff in part one. Part two is where the good stuff is, right? So what's the second part? I'll see you in a bit.